Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 22nd of the League to Code Daily Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. Also, today's uh, there's a weekly premium farm as well, so definitely hit the subscribe button and watch me solve that one afterwards. Uh, hope everyone's enjoying. Yeah. Hope everyone's doing okay. Uh, I still have like nasal congestion from allergies, uh, uh, tree allergies, seasonal allergies, whatever. So, uh, so apologies if I'm speaking a little bit awkwardly right now. Today's farm is 1312. Minimum insertion steps to make a string palindrome. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, this is probably going to be DP and square DP. Uh, and look at the constraints that confirms my suspicion. Um, insertion thing is uh, a thing to do, but really it's just about thinking uh, recursively with sub problems and and kind of um, and yeah, and kind of just thinking about how to represent that in a consistent way, right? So let's kind of go into it a little bit, and it's just about cases, right? So n is equal to the number of s, and then now we have get min maybe or something like this. Um, and, you know, we want a substring, so that's going to be left to the right. And in this case, we want them to be inclusive. Um, so that means that if left is equal to right, then we have one character left. And if we have one character left, we can just return zero because we don't have to return anything anymore. Um, and then the idea here is that, okay. So if s of left is equal to s of right, then we can just chop off the, the, the sides, right? Meaning, let's say we have a string that's like, I don't know, a, b, c, d, d, a, and then now we can chop off the a, and then that means that we have to calculate the min of the, these things. Well, that's a possibility anyway. It might not be what we want to do, depending, uh, uh, um, you know, depending on, on other situations, right? And if... And the reason why I say it like this is because this is that's the distinction between how greedy you want to get. And here, like you know, you can maybe you can say and maybe perhaps incorrectly just get return get min of left plus one, right minus one, or something like this, right? Um, however, like I said, that might not be the best move to do for whatever reason. I mean, it might be, but you would have to prove that that's the case. So here we want to just get like, you know, best is possibly, uh, this is a possible answer uh, f if that's the case. So best is equal to say infinity. And here we just set infinity to some big number. Uh, and then, okay. Otherwise, there are two things you can do, right? So let's say we have, again, some, some character uh, and now the they, they could be the same, they could be different, it doesn't matter from the first and the last. But here, now we can say, uh, if we could insert a character, right? We could insert two things as a character. We could insert an A, we insert an A, and then we move the, the, the A's together. Um, that's basically just saying that, okay, we insert the A, so then now we can chop off to kind of retain this uh, 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 invariant that everything outside this bound is already a palindrome, right? So, okay, in that case, then you have this uh, get min, we chopped off the left side, the right stays the same, and then we add one because of it take, took one move, right? Um, I think here I can just simplify by, well, I mean, you could write it another way. So if left is greater than right, that means we have no characters, it's also zero. Of course, you can return them to one if statements, but I, I just like writing it this way to be slightly more clear, right? Uh, by a similar logic, you can do something like this by inserting the character that's on the right side, and yeah. And that's pretty much it. Mostly. I mean, if you, if, you, if you ever seen me do any dynamic program problem, you'll know uh, that I just need to do the caching. So, yeah, uh, left is going to be 0 to n, and right is also going to be 0 to n. Technically, it'll be left to n, but, you know, same I, uh, the same big O, right? So this is going to be O of n squared. Uh, each input takes O of one time, right? That's of course if we cache, and I will cache this usually the same way. 
if I could spell correctly. <laughs> right? And that's pretty much it. Now we put it into the thing. Oh, whoops. Well, typo, obviously. Mix it up. Sad, but yeah. All right, let's give it a quick submit. Hopefully I don't have any auto typos. And that looks good. We have a streak going on. It's a little bit slower apparently. Maybe there is a greedy solution because the other ones are so fast. But uh, how did La Past Larry do it? Past Larry did it bottoms up. So same thing, uh, same idea, but you know, bottoms up. Uh, is there a greedy solution? Is that why? I don't know. LCS, hmm, okay. I think the LCS is on LCS of the inverse or something like this, but uh, but I don't know. That's still n squared, though, right? Hmm. Oh, I guess if you do LCS and then LCS, no, that's not LIS. Hmm. I don't know. Don't know why mine is relatively slow, but it's still gonna be n squared. Maybe because I don't know. There's just a lot of min functions. But yeah, um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any problems of this one. Um, there are a lot of these stringy dynamic programming problems that I recommend just you know, getting used to and practicing, and then it will allow you to kind of work on harder ones like this one without, you know, uh, uh, it's just about kind of playing around with it. Anyway, that's all I have for this one. Have a great weekend. Stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.